yeah, yeah, scoring is the issue. Um, inside 50s, 24, 49. So we, uh, I thought we started really well. We came in with a plan. We, um, yeah, we owned that game for five or ten minutes, I thought, at the start. And we challenged them. And then, to their credit, they, they adjusted. They adjusted their game slightly. And, and unfortunately, we were unable to adjust ours you know, in the heat of battle. So that's a work on. We're, um, <clears throat> you know, we're, a, we're a younger group than they are. And we weren't able to do that in game, unfortunately. So it, what it looked like was overdoing handball you know the extra handball maybe extra three or four handballs when we should have kicked in um, that you start to look at some of the numbers and you go well you know, the opportunities we had to go inside 50 and give our young forward line a chance we just didn't do it um, they brought the pressure and there's, there's your turnover score so it, it was look I'm really positive for us a step forward but we've got to score more than that um, and it comes off the back of just being able to adjust in game clearances early First quarter, yeah, first quarter they definitely they got on top of us at stoppage. That changes the game slightly. You're on your back foot, but um, we managed to bring that that back to about even for the second quarter. So we made some small adjustments in there, purely mindset. Um, got us back into the game a little but again um, you know we ended up hurting ourselves today we ended up I love the way we moved the ball I love the way we took the game on um, we just overdid it at times what do you say forwards when they only need 24 looks it's hard, it's a hard job to try and score the forwards and get them down there how hard is it for them to focus on what they do yeah it's a, it's a tough gig for, especially you know when you've got an average games down there of around four um, in comparison to what's at the other end, so we've they're a young group. Um, they're not complaining. They're, they're going to work and they're getting to work. We've we had opportunities to, to put that ball inside fifty, and we're just not taking them at you know at the right time. We're making the wrong decisions, um, <clears throat> and what that's doing is putting more pressure on us um, in defence. Unfortunately, you know some of it's hard to recover from when you're making errors, and it's it's a, a decision making error that can go from possibly into our end and it's coming back in the other end for, for an inside 50 for them. Riley um, probably made a pretty honest, honest work <coughs> with assignment after uh, making it a lot harder for himself yeah. earlier in the week. How, how did you view not just his performance but the, the lead up and how it all played out? Uh, I thought he played really well today yeah. against a, <clears throat> you know, a, a very accomplished ruckman in Nick Natton and, and it was a great battle. I thought they had a great battle. Yeah. Um, I think first bounce. Rob Rob mentioned the first bounce. He uh, he was staring him down, and it was it was on. Um, but we know that Nick Nat's a competitor, and he showed that on the field. There's a fair bit of you know passion in the way he played, and our guys try to try to stand up for themselves. Um, but I, I loved I loved the end of the game. I just what an amazing human being that you know to be able to calm down at the end of all that competitive work, and then come over and give him a phone. I thought that was outstanding. Is there merit in Obviously, it was an accident, but it did bring an extra edge to the game. Like, do you think, seeing that, people might be more encouraged to talk a bit more, talk a bit of trash? To, to tweet? Know? Yeah, yeah. Like, be a bit like we were saying. Don't tell our boys that. All the time, but it's not really the Australian <clears throat> way. No, it's not, is it? It's yeah, yeah it's interesting. It's um, uh, I, I thought it played out really well. I thought it added to the game. Um, you know, a completely honest mistake that. Both handled really well, uh, and they went at it today. I thought they had a great battle. I thought Rob showed some some really good signs for us. Maybe, I mean, look at what he wrote down. Apart from the takeaway and the things he said about Nick, what he said he was going to do himself, he actually did. Like, yeah. That that must be pretty clear. He, he said he, we all know what his individual task was, and he set out and did that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he came out, and then Rob does that every week. Um, and he's got his notes, and, and and all our players do that. That's part of being a professional athlete. He's preparing. Uh, there's a lot more detail than what he actually had in that note. Um, but yeah, I thought I think you're right. I thought he went out there, and he that was what he was aiming to do, and he played a, a solid game. Unfortunately, we we weren't able to do that across the board. We weren't quite able to get it done. Are you watching when Nick had the battle, or did you find out about? Uh, I was here, like, we we were having a discussion upstairs just around. Uh, review and 
what we took out of the game as a coaching group and it came up on the screen. So we had quite a chuckle. Yeah. Would you um, suggest anyone follow that lead if they're looking for a bit of a... Tweet about yeah. about Nick Nat. Well, no, not no. Australian, but anyway, you know, like, is, is there merit in it? Do you think to oh, it up? No, I don't think I don't think it's needed. I, th- I, 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 as you say, it's that they do it a lot in the US, but yeah. our boys are a little bit different. Yeah. And you got any injuries? You've obviously shown the cover of the played. That's the angle yeah. broke many years. Yeah, well, we don't know the detail yet, but he's pulled up reasonably well. Um, you know, we're fingers crossed on that one because we love what Shane bought. Um, you know, he's he's only going to get better and better as he, he gets more experience out on the ground. So, uh, Sloney took a knock to the hand, so we'll have to we'll have to scan that and or we'll X-ray and just check what's what's happened there. Um, but yeah, I thought out of the game we had a number of really positive uh, performances from our younger guys. You know, Hamill, McPherson, first game in, uh, he cramped at one point, but you know that step up in speed and, and what you see at AFL level from what he's been playing, and they've been playing slightly shorter quarters in the in the practice matches. So uh, there's some really positive signs from from that point of view with our with our younger guys. Um, we tried Mackesy forward. I, I thought he, he jumped at a few. He had a it was a big challenge for him tonight because you know against a, a high quality, experienced backline who can who can take a clunk. Um, I thought he fought reasonably well down there, and as you said, we didn't we didn't give him too many opportunities. We'd like to get the ball and a little more to him. But does that look serious? Because it's slightly thin. I'm no expert. It's hard to say, um, but he got some pain through there, so we'll, we'll just it'll be an X-ray, and uh, you know, fingers crossed, it's it's not a break because um, he's had a pretty tough time for the last month. He he can't take a trick at the moment. He seems to be running into a lot of walls. How's the morale then heading home? The prospect of a home game again must help the spirits Yeah, we're really looking forward to, to getting back. You know, for you know, our supporters. Hopefully, they can get into the ground and you know we can use that as an advantage. Hopefully, get that support behind the group. But um, from a morale point of view, the guys, you know, just five minutes, ten minutes in the rooms afterwards, they felt good about some of the play they'd brought today. You know, we're. We're able to move on now from bringing the intent and the intensity. We're not discussing that anymore. Our players, you know, the, the effort and the intensity is right where it needs to be. We've just got work to do. We, we've got education. Um, we've got to be able to adjust in game when the opposition adjusts. And today, that was the difference. Um, it looks a lot more when you look at numbers, but you know, sometimes these small adjustments, as I said, they can be big swings in, in, in stats. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, guys.